Geobyte. Welcome to Geobyte. Hi everyone. Today uh, I will take the first chapter of 11th class mathematics that is sets. Sets. These are. This is the uh, first chapter, which is very much easy compared to other chapters. Before I start my lesson, I would like you to. I would like you guys to put up this small. words in your study table that is maths is easy simple but powerful it's actually easy if you understand the concepts so uh, coming to a chapter first chapter sets so i'll explain what a set is set is actually a collection of well defined objects or elements or numbers or anything the main feature of set is that it does not vary from person to person So I'll give an example. Example. That is, uh, if I ask Manu, who are the most like who are the most three best cricketers in the in India, then he might tell me, Dhoni, Sachin, and Kohli. But if I ask Ramu, his preference would be Sachin, Ganguly, and Dhoni. Their preferences varied, so we can't define define this as a set. But if I ask both Manu and Ramu, what are the natural numbers which lies between one to ten? We say that is one, two, three, four, up to ten. So this is how I define a set according to the ex example. This is my set, whereas this is not. So how will I represent set in mathematical form? If A is my Set and the small a is my the is the element in the set. Then I can write it as a element capital A. That is the small a is an element or element of capital A set. If a does not contain the element. The element B, then I can write it as B not element of set A. So, how do I represent it as a set? That is, there are two ways to represent sets. One is set builder form. Another is tabular or roster form. So, how to represent a tabular roster form? These are represented by simple curly brackets. The elements are separated by commas, and they are put in curly brackets. For example, natural numbers less than five, I can write this as curly bracket one, two, three, four, guys. Tell me, should I include five? No, because it's less than. But if I write less than or equal to five, then my element should contain five. But now it should not contain five. So this is the representation in tabular or roster form. When I come to set builder form, it's represented as if I take the same example, 
numbers, natural numbers less than 5, I can write it as x, which is an element, which can take the value 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here in this case, then x element, x is, x is a number, natural number, less than 5. So, here the x element, x varies and I can represent it like this. Another example would be prime numbers less than 5, less than 10 maybe. Then how will I represent it? Let y be my variable. Then y is the semicolon is such that y is an element y is a number is a prime number less than 10. What are those elements? 2, 3, 5, 7 and 9. This is my roster form. my sets. There are two ways to represent my set. That is set builder form and another is tabular or roster form. How will I represent in tabular roster form? It is represented the elements are represented in between two curly brackets and each element is separated by comma. For example, vowels in English alphabets A, E, I, O, U. So, how will I represent in tabular roster? A, E, I, O, and U. So, in case of self builder form, I can take this as my set A, where A is defined, A is a set containing vowels, then in set builder form, I can write it as A equal to C. Here, I can take A, I can take any variable like X, Y or Z, which can represent the elements. So, if I take X, then X is such that, this is my such that, X is a verbal in English alphabets. So, I'll give you another example. x square plus x minus 2. So, I hope you guys know how to find the roots of this equation. My roots of the equation would be x minus 1 and x plus 2. So, how will I write it in set builder form? A equal to such that X is the roots of the equation. This is the root of the equation. X square minus X plus 2. X square plus X minus 2. And how will I write it in roster form? What are the roots? 1 and minus 2. Now we know how our set can be represented. So, coming to different types of sets. There are seven, uh, 6 varieties of set. 
First is empty set. It is a null set. That means there are no elements present in it. For example, if there is a sports day going on and if there are 10 people and all these 10 people are participating in running event, there is no one to take part in the swimming event. So that means number of elements in the swimming event is zero. So that means there is no, that means it is a null set. Another variety, next type is finite and infinite set. So finite set is permanent that numbers are well defined and it's def definite. For example, number of natural numbers less than 5, it is definite. That is, we have 4 elements. But number of points in the line is indefinite. That means I can put lot of points in a single line. So this is my indefinite set, whereas this is my finite set. Another is equal sets. Equal sets means equal. That means if my set A contains 5 elements, if they are A, E, I, O, U, and my B set contains also contains 5 elements A, E, I, O, U, then their elements are equal. Then that is my equal sets. What are subsets? For example, if my set A contains elements 1 and 2, I can write subsets for this main set A. They are 1. Each element can be a subset. So that means 1 is a subset, 2 is another subset, and also we know no element. A null set is there in all is a subset in is a subset is also a subset and this is null set and the main set will also be a subset of itself. So that means 4. So if my elements are 2 if my elements are 2 then Number of subsets I can make from this set, main set is 2 raised to n. Here, 2 raised to 2, that is 4. Now, what a power set is? Power set is a set which contains all the subsets. Even if we want miss one subset, then it is not a power set. So it should contain all the four subsets. What is, what is a universal set? My universal set can be defined as, for example, natural numbers. Where even numbers or numbers and prime numbers are the subsets and these three belong to the main category of natural numbers. Then this is my universal set. The remaining topics will be covered in my next video. Thank you for watching and please do like, share and comment Geobyte. Geobyte.